ladies and gentlemen, viewers and listeners, on to today's episode on the Daily Positive Living Principle Program. I am still your regular anchor, Dr. Daniel Otto, a consultant public health physician. I am committed to taking your life to a new dimension. And as you keep on listening to this channel, I tell you, your life cannot remain the same again because the information you get can transmogrify you. Information is power. That is what keeps a man going. Three major things are needed in this life for you to succeed. Your information, your vision, and your decision. These are key. In the last episode, we'll talk about uh, the consequences of worrying and we have a lot of consequences which are the reason why people die before their time people die in their sleep and today we're going to examine the cure to worry this is very very key this is is, is a regimen it's an antidepressant therapy it's a therapy for worrying and i think it is very 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 interesting for you to follow gently follow me carefully as we begin to analyze all the the, the regimen or the therapies for worry we say that worry is an abnormal process of engaging your brain your mentality your medulla oblongata to thinking in a negative way under tension and fear that is detrimental to your health that is worrying how do we cure this number one i'm telling you remove the cause of the worry to deal with worry, anything that is known as the cause, remove it. There are so many things that may be the result of this worry. Try as much as possible to examine the cause and remove it. If you think that a person is the reason why you worry so much, think of how to handle it. If there is a, he is thinking of, of unknown or all that, you remove the cause of worry. Whatsoever is triggering your worry state, the best thing to do is to remove yourself, remove that cause. And as you remove the cause, most of the effects and the consequences of worry will just take its own side just like that. So it is very, very important for this to be done. Number two of the cure to worry is to maintain your internal environment. You need to take control of yourself. Why am I saying this? What happens in your inside is more important than what happens around you. So you need to take control of yourself. Self-control, self-mastery is very, very important. Your internal environment is more important than your external environment because life is lived from inside outward. No wonder if you break an egg from outside, you destroy a life. But if an egg gets broken from inside, life comes forward. So internal environment is very, very important. If you want to sink a ship, just get a little water into the ship and the ship will capsize. The ship is surrounded by water. In fact, he moves around water. Those waters that is surrounding the ship is not enough to sink a ship. But once an, a, a small water enters into the ship, oh my God, the ship can capsize. What are we talking about? Your internal environment is very, 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 very key. <laughs> if you want to sink a calabash, in fact, if you want to sink a calabash without breaking it, you will push calabash until you have severe waist pain. Push calabash into water, it, it cannot. But when you, you, you puncture it from the inside, you can easily sink it. These are very, very key. If you want to, to, to sink a balloon, just give it a puncture. You puncture it, it, it means that life is gone. So your internal environment, no wonder internal enemies are more dangerous than external enemies. In fact, external enemies consist of about just 10% of your future. But internal enemies, they are 90%. That can, that can stop you as an obstacle to your future. That is why the, the fight between husband and wife is more dangerous than having a, a, a head-on collision with a trailer. Very important. If you have, if you, if you have, if your family environment is not, is not secure, is not lively, you are not living healthy with your wife or your husband, I'm telling you, it can be a cause of worry. Those internal environments are very, very key. No wonder house help, drivers, secretaries, the fight between them are more dangerous and it can kill on the spot. So what am I saying? Help to maintain your internal environment. Take control 
of yourself. In fact, the greatest victory on earth is victory over self. If you can control your desires, control your appetite. It is said that to determine what a man is, is the ability to control your erection. In fact, a man is not determined by his might or by his, uh, by, by, by his power or the amount of money that he gets. A man is defined by how he can control himself. A man of God was, was asked a question, what is your greatest problem in ministry? He said it is self. Number two is self. Number three is self. Number four is self. Up to number ten, he says self. What am I saying? Self is the major reason why we cannot move forward. Your self is the reason why you cannot take drastic steps against any adversity. What am I saying? Take control of yourself. Master yourself. Master your internal environment. It's a major source that you can remove the cause of worry. So these are very, very key. What are other areas that we can cure stress? Live a day at a time. <laughs> don't, 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 don't chew more. Don't bite more than you can chew. This is very, very key. Take a step. A journey of 100 miles can begin with a step. Don't think that you are going to do everything one day. If you cannot do it today, another day is coming. And so live a day so you can live stress-free life. Number four, cut your clothes according to your clothes. It used to be said, count your clothes according to your size. No! <laughs> if you don't have, if you, if you cut your clothes according to your clothes, that is what you have, make use of it. If you have extra, you can sew monkey jacket. What am I saying? Don't bite too, don't chew too much. Don't chew everything one day. And before you know it, you now enter into excessive worry. So, cut your clothes according to your clothes. And before you know it, you can start moving from one level to another. This is very, very, very key. It can help you to maintain an internal state where you'll be free from worry. These are very, very key issues. What other ways can we cure worry? The rest of faith. The rest of faith. That rest of faith gives you an assurance that you will not perish. In fact, the reason why Peter did not die before death so many people die before death. Some other people, when they go to lab or go to hospital and they are declared a, a, a diagnosis, some people, before you know it, they will die. And be, because your, your worry state is affected by what you hear and what you see or what you feel. What you hear determines what you fear. What you feel determines what you fear. Some people, when they hear a negative result, before, without thinking of it, they collapse on the spot. I know of a, 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 a boy that died when he was given a result of positive HIV and positive uh, hepatitis. He died before time because he thought that there was nothing to do. But so many people are living with the hypertension, with, 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 with hepatitis. So many people are living with HIV. So what are we saying? There is nothing that has happened that will not happen. There is, nothing, there is nothing that is happening now that has not happened before. So that rest of faith gives you an assurance. Peter would have died before the following morning because James died too. But he rested. Even while his execution date was tomorrow, he was resting and sleeping and snoring. That is rest of faith. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, whatsoever is happening to you, rest because there is a solution to every problem. So don't take it upon yourself as if the whole world is going to crash on you. No matter your diagnosis, no matter your state, there is a way that God will do it. So rest of faith is very, very important. So your commitment of plans to the hand of God and prayer is very, very important. So you can connect to your creator. Your creator <laughs> knows how you will go. If the best of the how many people out of worrying can add one cubic day to your year? No. Look at the best of the air that are flying. The Almighty God takes care of them. So if you can connect with the Almighty and commit all your plans to the hand of God, I am telling you, you will not worry. And these are the important cures to worry. These are very, very key so that you can maintain your internal environment. What are other keys to cure, to, to, to curing what is called worry? The worry cycle is very, very important. And you need to understand the worry cycle. <laughs> when you understand this, I'm telling you, there will be nothing to worry about. What, what does the worry cycle talk about? If you have a problem, the worry cycle will ask you, do you have a problem or not? 
If you have no problem, then why worry? If you have a problem, question, do you have anything to do about it? Can you do anything about the, trouble, about the problem or the issue or the challenge? If your answer is no, then why worry? If you say you have something to do about the, the you have something to do about that issue, about that problem, about that challenge, the question is: if you say yes, then why worry? <laughs> this is the worry cycle. It tells us that there is nothing to wear to, to worry about. If you have a problem and if you, if you have a problem and you know what to do about it, why worry? If you have a problem and you don't know what to do about it, why worry? So commitment of your plans into the hand of your creator that navigates you into life, throughout life, is very, very key. That is why we are on this program. So that you can leave every worry to God and maintain your internal environment. I'm telling you, this is very, very key. Because if you don't do that, it will lead to consequences, suicidal tendencies. Let me give you a story as I begin to round up. A man at 45 years came to his pastor and said, Pastor, I don't think I fit to live because this life does not make anything. I am not, I am not fit to live because I, all this while, nothing has happened to my life. I'm not producing anything. And worry was written all over him. So instead of the pastor praying for him, Ah, he said, meet me by 9 p.m. tomorrow. And this brother came. And before the, the, the brother came, this pastor has taken a sharp cutlass and put it in his pocket and covered it. When the brother came, he took this brother and said, let us walk around. So the pastor took him through the cemetery. They went to the cemetery where they buried dead body. He heard the outcome of this. While they were moving and they were on their, on their way, talking and all that, the pastor now turned to him and said, tell me what you were talking about yesterday. And the boy began to repeat himself and said, Pastor, I think I'm not fit to live because life is crashing down on me. I am not, I'm not amounting to anything. The pastor said, eh, hey, if you are not fit to live, look at these people, look at this cemetery. How do you see them? These are the people that are no longer fit to live. Nothing is happening to them again. Do you want to join them? Pastor, remove his cutlass, sharp cutlass, and say if you want to enjoy to, to join them, let me help you to join this group in a hurry. When he saw that the pastor was very serious, this man took for 40 big risk. <laughs> that was how he went. He left with 40, he ran for his life. Let me tell you, in three months, he came back to the pastor. He said, my life has started moving forward without praying for this guy, without doing anything. He changed, life changed. Why? There was a reaction inside his life. Why are we talking about this? For you to stop worry, there should be an internal reaction over worry. And before you know it, the end of worry will just be by your side. I'm telling you, by the time you keep on listening to this program, <laughs> the Daily Positive Living program, I'm telling you, your life will be free of worry. Your life will be free of distraction. Your life will be free of discouragement and depression. Keep on listening to this program. I am still your regular anchor, Dr. Daniel Otto. Stay tuned for more episodes that are coming your way. And I can tell you, as you focus and stay tuned to this program, your life will not remain the same again. God bless you.